Hi, I'm Scott Nygaard here for Peghead Nation, and welcome to my Roots and Bluegrass Rhythm Guitar course. In this course, we're going to get uh, real in-depth looking at how to play rhythm guitar and all sorts of Roots and Bluegrass and old-time um, songs and tunes uh, with a flat pick, definitely with a flat pick. We'll be taking a different song every month. We'll be uh, playing and singing it through. You'll get the lyrics and the chords. You'll get some bass runs that can uh, work on that particular song and you know how it works in, in different places in the song. Um, there may be some things where we'll be looking at some tricky chord voicings that maybe make it easier for you to finger those chords. Anything that comes up in the rhythm guitar playing of that, that particular song. Um, we'll be looking at where the song came from, if there happen to be like different versions and just talking about. So you can take these songs and play and sing them yourself um, when you're done with the lessons. We're going to look at all sorts of grooves, typical grooves, and how to make your rhythm guitar playing really match that groove and drive it along or swing it or whatever the, the groove is. We'll look at, you know, kind of standard bluegrass, fast bluegrass things like the thing I just played in the intro there. We'll do some more sort of country swingy things and talk about how to swing a, a feel more like... What you need to do to get that sort of feel. We'll look at waltzes. We'll talk about the kind of bass runs that you want to use and usually um, as it pertains to playing a specific song. So rather than just sort of having an abstract idea of well here's some bass runs that you could play from chords to chords. We'll talk about what you might actually want to play and how it would fit into a song if you were singing it or if someone else was singing it um, or if you're during an instrumental break. So we might have a bass run that goes. Something like that in a waltz um, and a key of, we'll do different keys, D. those sorts of things it's, and talk about how they work in the song and how you want to fit them around the vocals. We'll look at uh, different chord shapes and how you might want to play one chord shape or finger one chord shape in one, one way and how it would work best. Um, you might want to play an A chord in a number of different ways, sort of see how it fits best for you. We'll talk about some simple, probably swing and bar chord shapes. Um, won't get too heavy into um, deep into lots of chord substitutions for swing stuff, but on uh, maybe a fairly simple swing uh, or Western swing tone, we might do something like. So I hope you'll join me here in my Roots and Bluegrass Rhythm Guitar course at Peghead Nation. I'm Scott Nygaard.